All right, DJ Licious, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Can we get a whoop for DJ Licious? <laughs> yeah. Hello. We were told by management to do that, so that wasn't our <laughs> idea. Just so you know, we would never do that to well, you. Well, this was my manage- management cheering. There was nobody else in the room. So. <laughs> <laughs> the management. That's your, you, you need like a you have a personalized hype man. Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah, hype That's woman. Amazing. Yes, hype woman and hype here. man. Two people. Uh, I wanted to ask you about something. I found this out on your rider. Is this still true? This is a long time ago that you said this. Do you still do the lottery ticket thing? Yes, I do. Get out. Yes, I do. Yes. Now I saw it was like it was a long, a long time ago that I saw the interview. Yeah. And you hadn't won anything from the lottery ticket. Nope. Is that still the case? <laughs> still the case. Sorry. Yeah. Well, do you just get what kind are they? Well, there are different kinds of lottery, but the most I've won so far is 100 euros. Wow. So you've won something? Yeah, but hey. not not double my fee. Because the people need to know that uh, if I win the double of my fee, the promoter gets paid back my fee. That's the incentive. And for that's the, the coolest thing ever. So they're like, <laughs> they're checking out those yes. the, the gas stations in the middle of nowhere, the ones that always win. It's always some gas station that's like in yep. Paducah, Kentucky. Yep, yep. So, well, <laughs> yeah. I always scratch the card in front of them so I'm not cheating. Yeah. That's all. Oh. That's and good. then they Respect. can see. Uh, I, I heard a story that I, I can relate to. I've had a stalker one time. Mm-hmm. Somebody that, you remember when Facebook and Insta, all the things would do geotagging? Mm-hmm. So before you knew what was going on, you would post a status and it would tell everybody where you lived. Mm-hmm. And I had somebody who was a no. stalker sit outside my girlfriend at the time's house for two hours waiting for me to go over there. Get out of here. You have had somebody come to your doorstep. <laughs> yes. We got to hear the story. Once. Well... Well, I told this story before, but well, there was somebody who came at my door, and I don't know because I've been very, I'm very uh, conscious about my privacy, so I've never geotagged anything. So I don't know how she got my home address, but she was at my door, yeah, one day. Sorry, what, just no. like calling, like, "Hello, DJ Licious. Hello, <sighs> how are you?" And I was like. How do you know that I live here? Did she bring lotion? <laughs> of course, she had like a whole pallet of lotion with her. That's scary. That <laughs> Did you fun. call anybody to, to, to figure no, that out? No, I just said to her like, look, this is not okay. You know, I, I love my fans and, and they can ask many things and I always try to reply to everybody and, 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 and be open to my fans. But that was just one step too far. Mm. <laughs> Um, and you're playing probably more times than any other DJ this weekend, yes. next weekend, right? Well, How many it's times? like a package deal. They get a discount <laughs> for seven, yeah, seven times I'm playing. Is it like a stamp card that yes. you have? Yes, I get a discount. So <laughs> a loyalty no. card. <laughs> yes, something like that, yeah. <laughs> that would have been cool back when you were doing house parties in, in uh, where were you doing? You threw, you did a bunch of house parties all in Belgium, didn't you? Yeah, I still do because uh, that concept is called Show Me. And we're doing our first stage hosting on Sunday next weekend on Tomorrowland. What is it like now versus when you started doing it? Because you started doing it a while ago. Well, yes, I don't want to um, give away how old I am, but <laughs> my, I started those parties like 11 years ago, and the first ones I can assure you were like 20, 30 people. Uh, I lost a lot of money with that, but I kept going, and at a certain point after a year, uh, they really was a big turn up to the to the parties and it grew bigger and bigger and bigger and uh, it's now a record label we're now hosting four stages on festivals this summer and we're doing tomorrowland for the first time so well uh the one the person that keeps on going and keeps pursuing his dreams will get there eventually <laughs> it just takes time to when yeah. was it when did it switch from hey 20 to 30 people did it was there a moment where it was like yes. people just kind of caught on yes uh we uh invited many international djs and that didn't really caught on but it really caught on when we invited tara mcdonald it was a singer of david Guetta at the time and she had one big hit and we booked her before she had the big hit with david Guetta. And that really was a big party, and from that moment, it started. That's the secret, is you get them right before. <laughs> yes, it's such a risky absolutely. thing, because Not you don't true. know, and then you get them right before, and yep. then they blow up. That worked out so well I, for I, you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's cool, man. Uh, well, DJ Listers. We, DJ Listers. Listen. <laughs> Been, uh, we're on day two of Tomorrowland. Yes, DJ Licious. Hello. Thanks yes. for coming and talking to us. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Man. Do we have to do another woo? Yeah. yeah. yeah.